It is Friday the 15th, 2013, and like every day, Stanley Johnson walks alone. From dusk until dawn, and long after that, Stanley walks. He likes to observe the people as he walks by, their lives so different from his own. He often spends too much time observing their lives to realize their hatred for his own. But even if he did realize this, Stanley wouldn't mind. Stanley didn't have any friends or family, and if he did, he didn't know them. He had a house, although he was never in it. Stanley enjoyed the peace and quiet of nature. The long walks in town. He liked to walk past the abandoned buildings in his town and see where civilization once was, being amidst the shadow of a people long gone. Perhaps it was there he will one day reside. It is Wednesday the 20th, 2013, and like every day, Frederick Kenzie sits. For 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, Frederick sits on his couch. He does not move to get up for food or water. He cannot quite recall how he got here. All he could think about was that TV. For 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, Frederick stared at that TV. It was not on. He wasn't even quite sure if it was plugged in, but it was there. Frederick didn't bother to see what was going on outside. He wasn't even quite sure what outside was. Frederick didn't know much, but what he did know was that the TV was there, in the very room he resided in, and Frederick found comfort in that. It is Sunday, the 24th, 2013, and like every day, Calvin Smith stands outside an apartment of one Stanley Johnson. What many people did not know was that Stanley Johnson did not reside in this home. Instead, a man by the name of Frederick Kenzie sat there all day. Oh, how Kevin despised that man. For 15 years, Calvin walked by that house. Fifteen years, Frederick sat there and stared at that TV. How disgusting. What a disgrace. Calvin could not stand for this any longer. Frederick Kenzie didn't know his house belonged to a man forever lost in his own fascination for society. He couldn't hear Calvin Smith coming up the stairs, approaching him in the old apartment that did not belong to him. could not feel Calvin's cold leather gloves as they wrapped around his neck. Frederick could only stare in fascination at the TV, the dark abyss reflecting off his eyes. 